And hello and welcome. My name is Travis Rake from Mimeo, and I'd like to welcome you to our webinar this afternoon. So before we get started, I wanted to make sure that everybody can hear me loud and clear. So if you will, uh, on the participants panel there, if you will choose a smiley face, that will tell me that you have uh, audio feed coming to you loud and clear. So over there on the participants panel, click the little smiley face button, and we'll be good to go. All right. So welcome. And we are expecting a great number uh, more of people. So as they show up, I will be putting some things in the chat box to make sure that they are uh, on, on board just like you are. So well, let's get on with this. Many of us is very pleased to present Engaging Students Assessing Learning, featuring educator Sarah Coughlin. Uh, a little bit of background on Sarah before we begin. Sarah is a high school math teacher in Hingham, Massachusetts. Uh, and along her career path, she started in 2003 in Fairfax, Virginia. And she taught high school algebra, geometry, and math analysis. She later joined the ranks of NEMEO to create and manage the professional development program here at NEMEO that includes much of what we really have in place today. Uh, and after three years at NEMEO, she returned back to the high school math classroom where she currently is teaching various levels of math very su uh, successfully. Sarah's love for math enabled her to write a series of elementary math workbooks, and she's the, been a presenter at numerous education conferences, including FETC. NCTM, TCEA, as well as NECC. So before I turn it over to Sarah, I'd like to cover a few uh, quick housekeeping issues. Uh, each of you should have that sidebar over there to the left where you clicked on the uh, emoticon for the smiley face. Uh, the, and that's just the left of the presentation window. So throughout today's presentation, feel free to use that chat window. In fact, we definitely encourage you to use that chat window to ask any questions that you have. Uh, I'll be prompting you throughout the session. We will do our best to answer those questions in the chat box during the session, and we will also uh, address those uh, at the end of the presentation in a Q&A session. And just to let you know that we will have a dialogue of all of those questions and answers that you will, you will receive in a uh, post-webinar follow-up early next week. So shortly uh, after that webinar, as I mentioned, we'll be sending out that email to all of you. That will contain uh, not only the information about the, the Q&A and, and the session, but also a link to the recording. So if you want to go back through and hear uh, Sarah's fantastic presentation and catch some points which, that uh, you might have missed, that will be available to you. So the presentation will also remain available on demand. Uh, so you can just sit back, relax, put your feet up, and watch at your leisure. So it is now my great pleasure to welcome Sarah Coughlin. Sarah? Thank you so much, Travis. And let's do one more audio check. Give me a big smile if you guys are ready to go. I just really want to thank Mimeo for the opportunity to be here today. I fell in love with Mimeo over eight years ago in the classroom, and I'm so excited to still be a part of it. So a big thank you to Mimeo. Uh, and now we're going to get started talking about how you, with Mimeo, can make your class assessments easy and engaging for your students. So what you see on your screen right now uh, truly is an opportunity uh, for teachers to provide a better way to learn. Mimeo Classroom uh, provides a flexible opportunity for teachers to mix and match and provide various learning opportunities. So today we're going to concentrate on uh, the assessment piece of it and how flexible this Mimeo Classroom that you see uh, truly is for the teacher and the student. Uh, so these flexible solutions allow the teacher to provide uh, collaborative learning, real-time formative assessment, teacher-directed instruction, and adaptive instruction. And along the way today, we're going to highlight a few of Mimeo Classroom's products. On your screen, uh, you can see the, the grand lineup. I am blessed to have many of these products in my classroom, and I use them with my students every single day. Uh, you're going to see this screen pop up uh, through every activity that we go through. So keep this uh, picture in mind, and I'll quickly highlight an overview of each of these products. But I'm going to try to give you a snapshot on what a Mimeo classroom might look like. And on each activity, uh, a quick overview of which products I may be using if I were the teacher. Uh, no matter what your district or school or classroom has, Mimeos provide the flexible solution to mix and, max, uh, mix and match these products. So a real quick overview. Uh, first, our Mimeo Teach. This is a portable interactive whiteboard solution which attaches to any flat surface and creates that flat surface into an interactive whiteboard. 
The next product is the Mimeo Projector. This is a brand new product, which we are all very excited about. This has the interactive technology built into an ultra short throw projector. You may see in this picture two styli because this brand new uh, Mimeo projector allows multiple two students at once to be interacting uh, with the activity. The Mimeo pad is a wireless tablet, so the teacher or student from anywhere in the classroom can be interacting uh, with the activity. The Mimeo board, this is a fixed board solution. Uh, so the interactive piece is built into the side of this wonderful dry erase board. All of these products on this page that I'm speaking of are powered by Mimeo Studio software. Actually, this uh, presentation right now, I am presenting in Mimeo Studio. And this is really the brains behind everything that you're going to see today, all products and all of the lessons. Another brand new product is the Mimeo mobile app. We're going to talk a lot about that today. A very exciting app that allows you to integrate mobile devices into your interactive teaching. The Mimeo Vote is our handheld uh, voting system. And again, this is one of the top products that we are going to discuss using today. You're able to record student responses uh, into what's called Mimeo Gradebook. My students beg to use this each and every day. They love using it. Uh, the Mimeo View. This is a document camera, a fabulous document camera at that. Very easy to use. Uh, whatever is underneath that camera is going to be powered through Mimeo Studio. So you're able to share live demonstrations, student work. We'll talk a little bit about that today. And finally, Mimeo Capture. This is a dry erase capture system. So anything written on the board in dry erase marker is recorded onto your computer. So you're able to save and print that handwritten work. So again, uh, truly an amazing classroom of products. I fell in love with uh, the, dry, the interactive whiteboard about eight years ago, and I am amazed each and every day at what Mimeo continues to add to this Mimeo classroom. And keep in mind, all of these products work together powered by one software. So the learning curve is much shorter for teachers as they begin. They can use one product and start to build lessons and then add as they go. So keep this picture in mind. I will refer back to multiple products as we uh, go through a few sample activities. One of Mimeo's strengths is the support that they offer uh, beyond just the products. And I may refer to Mimeo Connect throughout today's session. And this is a free online community uh, located at MimeoConnect.com. And on Mimeo Connect, Mimeo educators are able to connect from around the world and share lessons, share resources, ask each other questions. Uh, it truly is a powerful community for both beginners and advanced Mimeo educators. Uh, please feel free to check it out. It's at MimeoConnect.com. Okay, so again, today's session is going to uh, theme around assessment. And the one of the main products that we're going to focus on is called Mimeo Vote. So this Mimeo Vote uh, tray here that you see, I have one of these in my classroom. And there's 32. This this picture is showing 32 handheld devices. Each student would have been assigned a, a student number. So every single response throughout the school year is recorded into what's called the Mimeo Gradebook. Every single response. The Mimeo Vote uh, allows multiple choice, both true, false, and any mixture of A through E choice questions. And you're able to assess in multiple different methods. So a teacher-led assessment is in the front of the class. The teacher would initiate a question, and the students would respond. This is for an example of a one-time question. Um, I insert teacher-led assessments into many of my uh, notes and instruction to just put a, a check mark on how my students are doing. It's a great way to assess 
as I am progressing through a lesson on how my students are uh, comprehending. Self-paced is another method of assessment using MimeoVote. And if you see in this picture, you would see a picture, uh, I'm sorry, students would have a printed out assessment. Maybe it's a 10 question multiple choice quiz. And there's no projected image. Students have the assessment on paper. And these handhelds now become uh, their recording device. So on the device it would say question one, and every student is moving through those 10 questions at their own pace. They're able to adjust their answer, and only when they are finished and they feel that they have completed the assessment, they press submit, and on the screen, their score will appear. Uh, it's a great way to have students work at their own pace, uh, record their assessment, and also I can look through on my grade book, and I can quickly run reports and find out where my students need help, both individually and as a group. Last choice for assessment is our quick vote. Quick vote is a floating toolbar that can be used anywhere. Okay, you can be on a website. And just on the fly, I may decide, oh, I want to ask my students, uh, you know, a multiple choice question. Real quick, I can open up this floating toolbar and choose the, the assessment type and I can record the question. It is truly amazing to realize that every single uh, student response, no matter how the teacher is assessing, is recorded into that Mimeo gradebook. We're going to talk a little bit more about Mimeo Mobile and how iPads and other mobile devices can be used to, in the same concept as what I just described as the Mimeo vote. So let's talk about the Mimeo Mobile application. This is a brand new app that was just released. Okay, this uh, app is located right now on the App Store. And at the current time, the supported devices include iPad 2 and higher, as well as the iPad minis. Android and other platforms are coming soon. So anyone today can go to the App Store, and they can uh, get, get access to the app. They can download the app today on any iPad. If you have schools that uh, do bring your own device, every student right now could go to the App Store and download the Mimeo mobile app. You would just search Mimeo, and you'll see a beautiful picture here on the right, the Mimeo mobile app. Also on the App Store is the Mimeo reading app if you're interested. But this Mimeo mobile app, in conjunction with a Mimeo mobile license for the teacher computer, so as a teacher in my classroom, I have purchased and installed uh, or enabled the Mimeo mobile uh, license. So my students can walk in either with their iPads or with a school cart of iPads. And the setup is so easy and so exciting for both the teacher and the students. <laughs> as a teacher, I would just go to my settings screen and put this QR code up on my projector, and students would just simply lift their iPads up towards the board. They would scan the QR code, and automatically the Mimeo mobile app recognizes uh, that they are students in my class. They would check in, and now they are fully set up and ready to go. So it is literally a, in seconds, students just lift up to this QR code, and since they already have the Mimeo mobile app, they are connected. Really makes it easy as a teacher. There's, it's really uh, quick and easy for setup. And then today we're going to walk through a few lessons and show you why it is so powerful. You can incorporate collaboration. You can record all your student work. Uh, it truly is a very exciting and powerful app. If you are interested in learning more after tonight, uh, you can go to Mimeo.com where there's also training resources. If any of you are already Mimeo users, uh, just one quick note is that you will need to update to Mimeo Studio 10. This was just released. Mimeo Studio 10 is required to use with Mimeo Mobile. So without further ado, we are going to plant ourselves 
into a real-life Mimeo classroom and give you a little bit of a snapshot on what a typical uh, activity may look like. I have a variety of activities, and I'm going to introduce each by explaining how and what uh, Mimeo products I may be using during this activity. So a quick introduction, I'll pull down my objective. In this activity, students will create a correct food chain by dragging food chain images and rolls to the correct colored boxes. Students are able to check by pulling the answer from the right. So keep in mind, this activity was built within Mimeo Studio. Very easy uh, tools and formatting options for teachers to use. Uh, this lesson is also located on Mimeo Connect for teachers to share. So this activity, I may in my classroom uh, be using Mimeo Projector, which again has the interactive piece built into the projector. So it's a one-stop shop. Remember that the Mimeo Projector allows two students to be working simultaneously. So two students could be interacting with this lesson. Obviously, we built this lesson in Mimeo Studio, so you'll see Mimeo Studio on every one of our activities. If you don't have the Mimeo projector, obviously, very flexible. You could also be using Mimeo Teach or Mimeo Pad or Mimeo Board. But let's pretend that we have two students at the board and we are using the Mimeo projector. The objective says students will click and drag food chain images from the choice pool and they will try to place that in the correct location. They'll also click and drag uh, food chain rolls and try to remember where these go. So you can start to see how this could be used as a post unit assessment on the fly, see how your students do. Uh, this could also be as a pre unit assessment to find out how much do our students know. It's a great way students love to get up to the board and interact. And you can see once a student uh, or a group of students is done with this activity, you can also build in features to check for accuracy. So I would as a teacher or even the student would click and drag and say we're doing pretty well here. If they made any mistakes, let's say that they put the picture over here. It's a quick assessment and they can learn from their mistakes. Okay, next we're going to look at a quick activity that incorporates the new collaborate feature. So first, I want you to think through that we are doing a group activity and students are collaborating in small groups. Okay, students are going to create their own food chain that represents an ecosystem that they've already observed. They would start with the energy source, which is the sun, and be sure to include a producer, a primary and secondary consumer, and a decomposer. Okay, they would draw images or simply write names of their choices. So here's the setup for this activity. And what products you might be using for this activity? For sure, Vimeo Studio. And this is the first example of what might occur when you're using the Mimeo mobile app. The Mimeo mobile app? Uh, allows multiple iPads and or a combination of the Mimeo pad to be connected working simultaneously. So as a teacher, I can press a button. I can split the white, white space at the board and you can see how students would become very excited to start participating. Okay, you can see the pictures. If I had one group that I wanted to highlight, I could click on the icon and, and bring one of their, uh, their images into focus. Students love this collaboration. They absolutely love to participate on the iPads. And it's a great way for teachers to assess learning. Okay, one quick okay. thing here. 
Can you hear me okay? Give me a smile if you can still hear okay. Beautiful. So this is a, the Mimeo mobile app is something I am really excited to get going in my classroom. Uh, I can already see my algebra students dying to participate in small groups, uh, and I can use this throughout the learning process. It's a great way to assess learning, and it's also a great way to get students collaborating. Okay, next we are going to talk about this a through D multiple choice question. What product will I be using? Uh, you could be using a, a mixture for sure, Mimeo Studio. Uh, I could be using a mixture of Mimeo Mobile and Mimeo Vote. So maybe some of my students have handheld uh, Mimeo Vote devices and some have iPads through the Mimeo Mobile device. As a teacher, I might still be at the board controlling the activity. So you may be using my Mimeo Teach. So very easily in Mimeo Studio, you're able to build these assessment questions. Uh, again, it's either a true-false or an A through E, A, B, A, B, C, A, B, C, D uh, choice. And you're able to use a mixture of images and text to create these assessment questions. Very easy to ask the question. So I may say, which is an example of a producer? Very easy to show them the correct answer. This is all set up beforehand. And once I ask that question, I'm also able to view the results. Should I choose to see the results? Uh, as a, as in the middle of a section, many times I'll be going through a topic, and I'll have a quick question, 10 seconds or less. If these were my results, I might slow down and I might review the concept uh, a little longer. If 90% of my students or 95% of my students got the question right, I'm confident that I can move forward. So again, very simple to build these questions in Vimeo Studio and very easy to uh, live in front of the class, see how the class is doing. If I'd rather view the data later on, it is all stored in Vimeo Gradebook. So again, this is the bar that you ask the question with. You can have a mixture of handhelds. You can have a mixture of iPads. Next, our next activity, fun with fractions. Students will use the Mimeo pen tool and write the answer to the questions. You can check answers by popping the red bubble. So many different ways for students and teachers to check accuracy. The products that I might be using during this activity, I could be using the Mimeo pad, and I could bring the Mimeo pad around the classroom so students could interact from their chairs or in small groups. Uh, again, the activity is powered by Mimeo Studio. This could also, uh, this activity could also be happening from the board using any of the interactive whiteboard products. So here we go, students. What point? On the line is 1 and 3 eighths, and using the Mimeo tools, I would have a student either from the Mimeo pad or at the board tell me that X is the point which represents 1 and 3 eighths. Students or myself as a teacher could check accuracy by clicking on the bubbles. And you can see all of this is created very easily in Mimeo Studio. Next activity, I love this activity. Uh, this is another collaborate activity. Student groups could be assigned fractions, and they could be assigned to draw a shape and divide it into parts. So we're assuming that maybe there are four, four groups around the room, uh, each with an iPad or a Mimeo pad, and they're, they're going to use the pen tool to color the parts to make each fraction correct. Obviously, the products here that we're using, Mimeo Studio, Mimeo Mobile, and then maybe a mixture of iPads and Mimeo Pads. So here's what this might look like. Once I, as a teacher, press Go, my four groups are hard at work. You can see one was assigned two-thirds, and they're getting 
very into the activity. Students are able to change their pen, they're able to uh, edit, change color, they're, they're able to do many things to stay involved as part of this assessment. Again, at any point, if I want to highlight, just put focus on one of the groups and use it as a discussion point, I can just click on this icon. Again, you see another assessment question. This is now an A through E question. So A through E would be lit up on their Mimeo vote devices or their iPads if we're using Mimeo Mobile. I would click go and ask my students the right answer and then I can display the correct answer. I can also display results. So if this were the case, maybe my students are doing a little bit better on this concept and I'm confident I can move forward. You see that same teacher directed uh, assessment. This is all done using the same toolbar that we saw before, the Mimeo Vote toolbar. Very simple to use for teachers, very simple to pick up. Uh, and for me, the most powerful part of it is that every response is being recorded. So I can use that data in the future to alter my lesson planning. Here's another activity on world flags. So in a real classroom, students will identify the correct flag of the country indicated by clicking on the flag of their choice. What products could be used? Well, this could be a big mixture. Definitely Mimeo Studio. And maybe I'm the teacher and I'm standing in the front of the classroom at the, the board. Maybe I ask a volunteer to come up. I hand them the stylus. And this is a really quick assessment. Maybe we've already gone through the whole unit on world flags. And they come up and they click on the bottom right. You can see visually there's a check. This is a multimedia piece that was formatted above the correct answer. So students, real quick, love to see that uh, feedback. If they choose the wrong answer by accident, they can see this red multimedia piece above. If you were in the classroom, you would have your volume hiked up because the students also love to hear the feedback audio. There's a very happy check that goes along with this. And there's a not so happy red <laughs> audio piece that will indicate that they got the incorrect answer. Very flexible uh, as a teacher in formatting these lessons. Many different choices uh, within the Mimeo Gallery and on Mimeo Connect that you're able to incorporate to give feedback. One of our last activities here, uh, using the Mimeo View. Now again, the Mimeo View is a document camera. So as soon as I press this button at the bottom, a Mimeo View window will open up. And whatever's underneath this camera will show. Very clear image. Uh, you have a few light, uh, lights to adjust if you need, depending on your classroom. So how is this activity incorporated? Students will read poetry and compose a poem about what are your dreams for the world. So in this case, Student work, uh, students were creating a dream flag based on their poem, and they used the Mimeo View to present to the class what it means to them. I use the Mimeo View all the time to show student work. Not only do they love to get their work underneath the Mimeo View, uh, but it's a great way to gain confidence. Uh, it's also a great way uh, for students to gain access to a little bit more real life material. So our obvious product that we're using right now is the Mimeo View, but keep in mind all of these products are working at the same time. So I might have a student sitting next to the Mimeo View. I might be up at the board using the Mimeo Teach, all powered by Mimeo Studio software. Powerful, uh, powerful lessons are made when you're using the Mimeo View because everything that's happening under there can be edited. I could annotate right on top of this from the board. I can copy and paste any of the work into other lessons. And I could even record using the Mimeo recorder. 
I could have a live demonstration of what this uh, means to the student. So very powerful tools, all within Mimeo Studio when you're using the Mimeo view. It's a great way to, uh, to gain feedback on how students are doing on a particular unit. So before we wrap up today, I hope that you enjoyed those activities and got a better glimpse into how the Mimeo Classroom truly provides flexible solutions uh, for teachers to make class assessments easy and engaging. Uh, a few other things I just want to make quick reference to. Uh, first is Mimeo Reading. Okay, Mimeo Reading programs uh, help students master strategies for comprehension across all subject areas. They're aimed from pre-K to eighth grade, and they're tailored to help students learn to read and then read to learn, no matter what level or uh, ability they come into the game with. It allows teachers uh, for differentiated small group instruction, effective individualized reading instruction, both from iPads and computers, and then also the whole classroom instruction. Just like the Mimeo classroom, it's very flexible. And if you're interested in Mimeo reading, definitely check it out at mimeo.com. I said before that that Mimeo Connect community is extremely powerful, and so are the training and professional development programs. Uh, they provi Mimeo provides comprehensive programs, both online, on-site, uh, both free and fee-based, from beginner to advanced. There's a solution for you if you're a Mimeo educator. Uh, you can check out more at mimeo.com. Uh, I personally I feel very strongly that professional development is so important for schools and for teachers. Uh, there's not enough time in the day, and with access to these powerful tools, the training and professional development is just as important, and Mimeo really provides flexible opportunities for that. <coughs> So I do, before we uh, open up for questions, I do want to thank everyone for logging in, and I want to thank Mimeo for this opportunity. I have uh, loved Mimeo from day one, and I continue to do so. And if you do have any questions, I am certainly happy to answer them. Great. Thank you so much, Sarah. Uh, this is Kristen Romaley from Mimeo, and I will be moderating the question and answer session here for this webinar. It is not too late to submit your questions, so please feel free and use that chat uh, bar to the to the left of your webinar, and uh, we will begin asking questions and some of these questions to Sarah. So let's see here. First question is from Allison. Sarah, how easy is it to charge these um, SRS handheld devices for the Mimeo vote? Oh, Allison, that's a great question, and I have a great answer for you. Uh, I'm going to scoop back to a picture of the Mimeo vote because the charging uh, piece of the Mimeo vote as a teacher, whew, one of my favorites. Uh, the tray that the Mimeo vote handhelds come on uh, is actually plugged in, and every time a student dumps their handheld back into that tray, it is recharging. I have, in years and years of teaching with these, never run into one issue with one handheld because as they sit overnight, they're recharging. Uh, while we're on the Mimeo Vote handhelds, which I obviously love, <laughs> the other feature that uh, is amazing is this tray automatically renumbers the handhelds. So my classroom gets very chaotic, as it is every day. <laughs> and as my students are done, they just dump the handhelds into any open slot. The, the tray actually knows which uh, number to take on. So there's not much to it as far as management. Uh, the charging feature is, is amazing. Excellent. Thank you, Sarah. Um, we have another question just about the setup of Mimeo votes. Carl has asked that how, how long does it take you to set up your Mimeo vote in your classroom? How long does the setup take? Okay, that's a great question. So first things first, all the products are powered by Mimeo Studio. So you have Mimeo Studio uh, installed. There is a white USB receiver that you would plug into your computer. 
and then we just saw a picture of the tray. You would plug that into the wall. That is the setup. Uh, the, the actual hardware piece of it, the setup, is just the plug and play. Uh, as far as setting up questions within Mimeo Studio, uh, very easy to pull out question templates from the Mimeo Gallery. And you can adjust them on the fly. Uh, so the setup is, like many of the Mimeo products, amazing. <laughs> I can't, I can't say enough how how easy it is to take it out of the box, plug it in, and you're on your way. Great, Sarah. We've had a handful of questions coming in about the Mimeo mobile app and how um, that works for your iPad and how that works together with Mimeo Vote. Could you describe that a little bit more? Absolutely, and I'm going to go back and grab a picture of that Mimeo mobile, Mimeo mobile app. So the Mimeo mobile app, as long as our students have it on their iPads or I have it on my iPads, uh, the way to use it as a, in conjunction with the Mimeo vote, this screen, I think I actually have a picture here, this screen on the iPad, once I initiate a question, every iPad that is connected through the Mimeo mobile app will then be a picture just like this mimicking the Mimeo, hand, the Mimeo Vote handheld. So if you have the Mimeo mobile app and you have Mimeo, if you have iPads connected, as soon as the teacher initiates an assessment question, the iPad automatically knows that you would like to use it as a handheld. So there is no clicking. It's a very intelligent connection. And once I answer this question and I have no more, um, I have no valid question being asked, I can then use the Mimeo Mobile to divide into white spaces or I can hand over control to a student. It's very simple to use as a teacher. I, I really am amazed. It's a great question. Great. Thank you, Sarah. Um, we have some questions about training. So if you wouldn't mind going into a little more detail about what training um, options are available for Mimeo Masters and so on. Absolutely. And one of my passions, <laughs> kind of how I started with Mimeo, I, I loved Mimeo in my classroom. And training is, is a key piece of it. You can't just put a product in a classroom and expect teachers to go from A to Z. So Mimeo really hits it right on the head. They provide opportunities uh, for the beginner teacher. So if you go to Mimeo.com, what you'll find out is that there are programs uh, starting from the beginning level. So the on-demand resources, which I think are really important for someone just getting started out, uh, include short videos, so all different topics. They're very short and convenient. You can watch them on your own time. Uh, there's also uh, reference sheets that you can print out and have access to as you start to, to gain confidence. The next level up, uh, Mimeo provides free online sessions. They're called Quick Learn. Uh, these Quick Learn sessions are very powerful because they're taught by educators. They're taught by people like me who use Mimeo in the classroom every single day. And they consist of about an hour session. Uh, their topics range from beginning to advanced. And why I think that they're, they're very helpful for educators is they're interactive. So people sign on, but they also get their hands on some of the activities. Uh, they're able to ask questions from an expert. So those quick learn sessions, free of charge as well. So these two programs, On Demand and Quick Learn, are uh, extremely valuable and free of charge. Uh, the more advanced as you get, the more that you want to learn, the more that you want to interact with other users. So the Masters and Certified tra Trainer programs would be the next step. And those are for aimed, uh, those are in-depth, fee-based programs. And uh, teachers and or trainers, go through these programs, and the Mimeo Master's program is for classroom teachers. So they go through a series of 10 weeks online, and it starts from beginning and really ends up to be uh, very advanced, and you're creating lessons with other experts, and you're asking questions, you're learning from each other. That culminates in a one-day event 
uh, where you meet with other experts. And it really has grown over the years. Amazing, amazing work coming out of that program. Same thing for the Certified Trainer Program. Uh, this is the same 10 weeks of online sessions, but it culminates in a two-day or three-day Train the Trainer event. And this is where people who are responsible for providing training to teachers, not necessarily uh, in classroom, but they are responsible for training classroom teachers. So it supports those trainers uh, with resources and uh, people help and all sorts of perspectives that you might not get um, otherwise. So that's a Train the Trainer program. And then the last, the Mimeo Academy, uh, this is a program provided to schools or districts to be adaptive. So whatever your school or district needs, uh, every school and district is at a different stage in their, their Mimeo life. So Mimeo will work with that school or district to adapt a a fully comprehensive training program uh, for whatever their circumstances and whatever products they have. Uh, I can't say enough good things about the training and professional development program. I think it is one of the, the key benefits is that you're learning from other Mimeo educators who are in the classroom every day, uh, have been through what you've been through, and are able to uh, give you that perspective. Great. Thank you so much, Sarah. Um, we have one last question here from Nancy. How does the iPad know a student's number in the grade book? Great question, Nancy. Uh, so you on your, your teacher computer, in the grade book, you create your class. So I have 25 students in my class. They know what their student number is. Uh, once the student puts their QR code, up to my projector and the Mimeo mobile app reads that they're a student, they just click on their name. They'll see the gradebook class uh, list and they'll say, oh, okay, I'm Johnny. Uh, as a teacher, when I'm roaming around the room, I can always see their name at the top of the Mimeo mobile app so I can make sure that they've gotten in successfully under their name. Uh, really genius way to check in using the Mimeo mobile app. I'm amazed to see how easy Mimeo has made it. It doesn't take any time out of your instruction, and it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. The kids love to see the QR code. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Sarah. I think we're just about out of time for today. Uh, any of the questions that did appear in the chat box that were not able to be answered, we will be sending answers to those questions in our follow-up email, which will include a link to today's show. And once again, Sarah, you have been wonderful. Thank you so much for presenting with us. Um, I would like to take a moment to tell you guys about our next Mimeo webinar, which will be on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will be Engaging Students, Assessing Learning by Krista Pottier. Uh, and thank you guys all for attending. We really appreciate it. To close out today's session, if you go to your file tab at the top and click close. You will be exited from this webinar. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kristen, and thank you so much, everyone, for logging in.